Good evening. Parents, students, teachers, administrators, and other guests, welcome to the 2015 National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are happy and proud to be here tonight to be a part of this important event in the lives of these students. They are to be recognized for their accomplishments and efforts, which allow them to be a member of such a prestigious organization. We ask that you please rise and join Alicia Lai for the National Anthem. The National Honor Society is the nation's premier organization established to recognize outstanding high school students. More than just an honor roll, NHS serves to honor those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. We would now like to introduce John Maxey, President of the National Honor Society. Thank you, Mr. Hood. Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for coming. The National Honor Society was established in 1921 by the National Association of Secondary School Principals. What started as a small local club in a Pittsburgh and High School has grown into a global organization with more than one million members today. Figures such as Michelle Obama, Katie Couric, Meryl Streep, and even Calvert Pitt Jr. were all once members of the National Honor Society. So what purposes guide chapters and its members and make up the four main pillars of the National Honor Society. The first one is to create enthusiasm for scholarship. Two, to stimulate a desire to render service. Three, to promote leadership. And finally, four, to develop characters in the students of National Honor Society. Shortly, you'll hear more about all four of those pillars. But what does it mean to be a member of such an illustrious club to the students sitting on this stage? It means not only have they met the academic requirements of a 3.6 GPA, which is accomplishment in, an, in itself, but more importantly, it challenges these students to develop further through active involvement in school activities and community service. By challenging themselves through service project and other such activities, they will become strong members, which will form a stronger chapter. A stronger chapter can enhance the reputation and effectiveness of our school, which results in a strong school, school capable of building a strong community and world. It is a domino effect, all starting with these wonderful students sitting on the stage. This is no easy task, and that is why I want to challenge all of our new members to a few things which will help achieve the mission of the National Honor Society. Attend and participate in all chapter meetings. Support all chapter projects. Promote service projects. Assume a leadership role. Welcome new members. Motivate others to be involved, to get involved. Be a good citizen at the local, state, and even national level. And be a role model. Remember, you're an ambassador of your chapter as well as the national organization. If these challenges can be accomplished, our chapter's effects in the school community will be everlasting. Overall, just remember that you're being inducted into this organization because of your accomplishments and your de desire to help others. Remember that and carry it with you wherever you go in life and make NAR sound proud. I would now like to introduce Sam Reesbe, who is one of our co-presidents, and he's going to talk about the pillar of scholarship. Thank you. Scholarship is one of the four pillars of the National Honor Society. It is synonymous with learning and brings about the enrichment of a person's intellect. 
Thinking is what makes us human, and these young men and women have taken that ability and turned it into a high level of achievement. Our inductees have shown a commitment to learning and have sought to go above what is expected of them. This high level of achievement has earned them a spot on this stage. These scholars have spent countless hours working diligently on their education in order to prepare themselves for the world ahead. Scholarship, however, does not only include the general education we are taught in school. A broad range of subjects and abilities can be mastered through scholarship, whether it be critical analysis of a Shakespearean play, understanding Einstein's theory of relativity, or using multiple programming languages. Intellectual curiosity is what drives scholarship, and it doesn't matter what your choice of study is, as long as you continue to strive for achievement in your field. The desire to pacify that curiosity is what has led great minds making great discoveries and executing groundbreaking ideas. Success doesn't come in a single cookie cutter form. It can be achieved in many ways. Whether you want to be the next Barack Obama or the next Mark Zuckerberg, you can accomplish whatever you want if you commit yourself to being a scholar. Of course, being a scholar not only involves the attainment of knowledge, but also the application of it. Knowledge is the greatest asset one can possess, and it is one to be shared. One of our great founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, once said that the great aim and end of all learning is service to society. This statement demonstrates how knowledge and service are intertwined and should be used in tandem in order to promote the well-being of society. Ben Franklin's quote encapsulates what the National Honor Society stands for, and it is my pleasure that each of our inductees epitomizes the student we want in our chapter. May their memberships in the National Honor Society serve them well and allow them to make our community and the world a better place through their br brilliance and dedication. I would now like to introduce Emilio Dominguez, who will speak to you about service. One of the main goals of the National Honor Society, if not the most important, is stimulating a desire to render service. Because I think that service is something that should be done for others, rather than for recognition, I found it difficult to write a, this speech. However, tonight is about recognition. See, service comes in all forms. Whether it's volunteering for the Red Cross, to helping at, the, at an animal shelter, collecting non-perishables for a local cause, to collecting gently used shoes for a national cause. Simple things that people may not even notice, such as holding the door for the person behind you, aren't done because we feel obligated or because we deem ourselves a reward, but rather because it's the right thing to do. Service shouldn't be seen as a means to an end. And something that is only done because it is required. True service is attitude, and it is being done for the right reasons. Now I'm not saying there won't be days when you'd rather sleep in than help out the soup kitchen. But when you do, and you finish, and you take a deep breath, you realize you did something worthwhile. Mother Teresa once said, it's not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. I would now like, like to introduce the Secretary, Crystal Asenmacher, who will be speaking to you about leadership. Lincoln, Roosevelt, Jobs, Thatcher. Our members are poised to emulate and join these great men and women in mastering the art of leadership. A true leader is not about gaining followers, but rather teaching the essentials to lead and doing it with a certain passion and having a positive influence on anyone whom they encounter. These students being recognized tonight are perfect examples of individuals who uphold these, this school's ideals and are able to influence others to do the same. True leadership is an exercise of wisdom, a complete mastery of the skills necessary for a particular project intimately combined with what many term real life experience or simply common sense. 
leaders not only know what they're doing and how to do it, but they link that pragmatic knowledge with the why a project is necessary. So leadership engages the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. To lead is to serve, not just pragmatic outcomes, but the people with whom and for whom these outcomes are achieved and designed. I would now like to introduce Janelle Edgar, our Secretary of Activities, who will speak to you about character. Thank you. Character is what gives each and every one of us our own unique identity. Good, good character is based off self-confidence and self-esteem. Throughout our daily actions, it is important to demonstrate the six pillars of character. Respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship. In other words, have admiration for ourselves and others. Be accountable for not only our actions, but also our words. Be reliable. Do not discriminate. Show a sense of kindness and concern. And lastly, get involved with your community. As we develop, we can strengthen these qualities through repetition. We must remember that character is not received, but achieved. We achieve good character when we do the right thing, regardless of who is there to see. The young writer, Anne Frank, wrote, parents can only give good advice or put them on the right path. The final forming of a person character lies in their own hands. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the lessons that you learned and use them to build a better you. Thank you. We will begin the introductions of our new inductees. Students being inducted will receive our current NHS officers from our officers a stole to symbolize their academic achievement. Then each new member will be signing the National Honor Society induction book that has been signed by all past members and will be signed by all future inductees. Finally, candidates will receive a certificate identifying them as members of this prestigious organization. We ask that you please hold your applause until all students have been introduced. Lauren Whitley, Sam Marie's Bay, and Crystal Asamacher will be introducing all of the new candidates. I will now be introducing the senior inductees to the National Honor Society. Isaac Anderson. Isaac is an active member of his church where he volunteers in outreach programs and festivities. He is a member of the French National Honor Society for his outstanding achievements in French class. Charles Grello. Charles works closely with his parish, Visitation BVM, especially during football and basketball season. He was also a captain of the JV football and basketball teams his sophomore year. Ambar Montero Diaz. Ambar is an academic team captain and battalion commander of JROTC. She is vice president of UNIDAD and recently joined student council. She enjoys volunteering as a Sunday school teacher and at Einstein Hospital. Andrew Vasquez. Andrew is an active member in the sci-fi sci club and chess team and has participated in cyber surgeon simulation for the past four years. Andrew has also received distinguished honors in science, mathematics, Spanish, and the gifted program. Francesca Vincenzi. Francesca is the secretary of student council and has participated in the Race for Hope the last two years. She participates in the swim program, teaching fourth graders how to swim. Now introducing our junior member, junior inductees. James Andrews. James plays varsity football for Norristown 
while also participating in DECA and Young Scholars. He volunteers at his church and has received perfect attendance awards for the last three years. Tessa Brown. Tessa recently joined Student Council and works with the Class of 2017 Club. She played lacrosse for two years and started field hockey last year. Tessa also works with Interact Club. Chase Butler. Chase has been an active member of DECA for the past two years, where he often volunteers his time tutoring or reading to elementary school students. He is the lead alto saxophonist in jazz band and a member of select band. Charles Desto. Charles has been an active member and officer in the French club. Since his sophomore year, he has also participated in drama club, interact, and gospel choir. Corinne Ignis. Corinne has been a member of the student government since her freshman year and has helped create school spirit with various pep rallies at Mr. Narstown events. She also participated in, in the Race for Hope 5K last year. Gabrielle Masucci. Gabby volunteers on many projects through her church, All Saints, and was recently chosen to be a member of the Cabrini College Leadership Academy. She is in the Interact and French Club, Student Council, and plays field hockey. Nakia McCree. Nakia often volunteers at her church, where she is a youth group member. She played varsity soccer last year and won best witness in mock trial. Nicole Michaels. Nicole is the vice president of the Art Honor Society here at the high school, where she has volunteered her time to raise awareness of the arts. Sweetie Patel. Sweetie is, has recently joined UNIDAD, where she is an active member. She volunteers at the nonprofit organization Dada Bagdam, whose goal is to spread peace and harmony throughout the world. Kalina Shamsuddin. Kalina played lacrosse for the past four years and is a member of the field hockey team. She recently volunteered at the Narendra Tree Foundation sorting and packing clothes for refu refugees. Franco Waweru. Franco is the Vice President of Soccer Scholars, as well as Captain of Narstown's tennis team. He spreads his love of tennis by volunteering to teach younger children how to play. He is a member of both DECA and Student Council, and last spring was nominated by his teachers as Student of the Month. Barry White. Barry is new to Narstown, but has already become an active member of the high school community. He plays football and track and field. He was a science fair project leader, consistently helps his classmates when they are struggling. Now introducing the sophomore inductees. Amaya Bankowski. Amaya is the founder and president of the Slam Poetry Club here at Narstown. She is also the vice president of the class of 2018 club. She is a member of student council and captain of both her volleyball and swim teams. Naja Birch. Naja is committed to becoming a leader to our community. She is a member of the Anime Club and involved in Narstown Area High School's Youth Court. Joshua Butler. Josh is an active member of DECA, the Young Scholars, and a member of the NAACP. He plays the trumpet and is an active member of his church. Mackenzie Klickner. Mackenzie has been a member of the French Club for the last two years and volunteers weekly at the Regina Nursing Center.
Kayla Cooper. Kayla has helped create Thanksgiving and Christmas packages for those in need. She is also a member of Upward Bound, enjoys cheerleading, and is a member of her youth ministry group. John Danko. John is an active member of the Boy Scouts, sometimes working as a leader for other members. He is in Chess Club and JROTC and has volunteered at Camp Heart. Samantha Detweiler. Samantha is in the Gifted Seminar Program and won the Seminar Award. She enjoys dance and is in Narstown's Drama Club. She played the White Rabbit in Alice at Wonderland. Cameron Duncan. Cameron is committed to bringing the arts to Norristown and is a member of the Drama Club. She is a member of Student Council, one of the presidents of the Class of 2018 Club, and Vice President of Alumni Membership and Relations in DECA. Corinne Foley. Corinne splits her time between volunteering with preschoolers, the elderly, the sick and hungry, and playing field hockey, lacrosse, and basketball. She is also a member of DECA and recently came in second place at States. Hannah Griffin. Yeah. Hannah is a member of the Spanish and Class of 2018 clubs. She is an altar server at St. Francis of Assisi Church and plays outfield for Norristown's varsity softball team. Ruben Guntapalli. Ruben is committed to volunteering and helping others in the Norristown community. He is also a member of Norristown's tennis team. Alexia Hall. Alexia is in the French, Robotics, Cancer Awareness, and Class of 2018 clubs. She has played volleyball and field hockey for the past two years and is an active member of her youth group, volunteering to fix houses and teach children. Ashley Kinsey. Ashley is a volunteer firefighter and often gives her time to the community with activities like the Firehouse Santa Run, Toys for Tots, and Breakfast with Santa. She enjoys softball, basketball, and volleyball. Rebecca Morris. Rebecca is committed to become an active leader in school and her community. She is a member of the Young Scholars Club at a leader in, and a leader in the Sabbath School working with outreach. Caitlin Nolan. Caitlin is a multi-sport athlete playing soccer, basketball, crew, and softball while also being a member of a dance team. She is a member of the Class of 2018 club and often volunteers either with her church or as a camp counselor. Brianna Poehler. Brianna participates in community outreach and tutoring. She is a member of the Young Scholars Club, a Girl Scout, and a leader in the youth, young, the youth empowered to stand movement. Kayla Rice. Kayla is the principal cellist, cellist in Select Strings Orchestra. She is a member of French Club and vice president of the class of 2018 club. She also helps teach Narstown's fourth graders how to swim. Kelly Rice. Kelly is a secretary of the class of 2018 club and also a member of the French Club. She has helped the Ambler Rot Rotary Club, is an active member of her church, and has volunteered her time to help the community. Madison Smith Collins. Madison is an active member of her church and the Elks, where she often volunteers her time and gives back to the community. She is in the Gifted Program and a member of the Class of 2018 Club. Angelina Terpoli. Angelina is committed to bettering her community through service. She is a member of the Spanish club and enjoys softball and volleyball. Catalina Tolentino. 
Catalina is committed to advocating for positive change in her school and community. Last year, she was on student council, and this year, she became a member of the Class of 2018 Club. Quinton Turner. Quinton is committed to becoming a leader in school. He is an active member of his church where he volunteers his time. He enjoys wrestling, soccer, and basketball, and is captain of Narstown's Robotics Club. Georgia Werkheiser. Georgia has been student of the month both her freshman and sophomore years at the high school. She is a starter for Narstown's field hockey, basketball, and lacrosse teams, and has also volunteered as an instructional leader teaching middle schoolers how to play field hockey. Keenan Williams. Keenan is a leader uh, in the Young Scholars Program and a member of the Spanish Club. He is an active member of Bethlehem Baptist Church where he has volunteered his time to help those in need. Randy Weismer. Randy is a leader in the Drama Club in Jazz Band and also participates in community theater where she mentors young aspiring actors and actresses. She is one of the presidents of the class of 2018 club and plays varsity tennis. Good evening. Um, my name is Jeff Smith, and I'm, I'm very privileged to share the stage with these fine young men and women tonight. Um, thank you very much for attending, and it is indeed a privilege to congratulate the 2015 inductees for the Norristown Area High School National Honor Society. Um, each of you behind me should be very proud of your accomplishments, but I would also like to congratulate the families of the new inductees for your guidance and support throughout the years of these fine young men and women. As a member of the National Honor Society, it's important to take the time to reflect on accomplishments and the principles of the organization, which include scholarship, leadership, character, and service, all of which have very significant importance and meaning. This group represents very high levels of academic achievements and also significant involvement with extracurricular activities. But what was most impressive about this group was the dedication to the service in the school and the community. Uh, going through some of the applications, you heard some of it. Um, I'd just like to highlight some of the activities that they've involved themselves with. Tutoring at the PAL Center, community library volunteers, community garden volunteers, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, youth groups, missions, animal shelters, volunteer firefighter, NAACP and Red Cross volunteers, food pantries and soup kitchens, cancer awareness, youth sports coaches, community theater, nursing home volunteers, and hospital volunteers. And that's just a small part of what they've involved themselves with, and parents and guardians you should be very proud of those activities. National Honor Society members, please continue this commitment to service, not only throughout your high school years, but throughout your life. I personally believe that there's nothing more gratifying than helping others. As each of you move forward, think about where dedication, scholarship, leadership, and service can take you. So now, I'd like to ask the new inductees to please rise. And on your chairs, I believe you had the pledge. And we're going to do it a line at a time, and I'd like you to repeat after me. I pledge to maintain my high scholastic standing, 
to hold as fundamental and worthy an untarnished character to endeavor intelligently and courageously to be a leader and to give of myself freely in service to others. In doing so, I shall prove myself worthy of a place in the National Honor Society. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Mrs. Meredith Pelleggi, English teacher and 2005 graduate of Norristown Area High School. Good evening, everyone. My name is Meredith Pelleggi, and I'm a National Honor Society member and a NAHS alumni, so I could not be more honored, more flattered to be asked to speak to you all this evening, so thank you. Uh, before I do anything else, I just want to congratulate all of these wonderful faces. Most of them are actually either current or previous English students of mine. And I could actually see some of them rolling their eyes when I got up to speak, so I'm going to make this quick because they're tired of hearing me talk. Yes. You were selected by the members of your educational community based on your learning prowess, your leadership skills, and your character. Now, as educators, we often throw around words like honor, dignity, and integrity, but we rarely get the chance to actually put a face to those words. So I'm very, very proud of you, having had the opportunity to have you in my classroom. While these words are just a mere fraction of what will become your ultimate characters, you need to understand that they are loaded with responsibility, not only to yourselves, but to those around you, and to bettering their welfare. They are words that are symbols. They are backed by efforts filled with thought and purpose. They are the continuous and selfless quest to add meaning to the lives of others. Now, I have a niece who's recently just started her first year at one of our middle schools. And being nervous about being in a new place and meeting new people, she came up to me and she said, Aunt Mar, how do I know who all the good people and a seemingly simple question absolutely floored me because it's rather more complex than one would think. How do you know? So I ask you this, think to yourself, how do you behave in the perfect sweetness of solitude? Do you triumph in times of trouble? How do you approach your education as a fleeting endeavor or as a lifelong journey? And do you stand for what you believe, even though it's not popular? and encourage others to do the same. When we answer these questions, we get one step closer to determining what our character is, a persona that will be embodied and crafted throughout time that will eventually become a symbol as how we want to be seen by the world. So now you have a job to do. You must think to yourselves, how will you help steady those who stumble? Will you teach? Will you tutor? Will you advocate? Will you campaign? Will you fight for those who have less than you? Will you believe? My suggestion is that you start with the latter. Believe in the power of your education. Believe in the power of leadership. Believe in the power of community. For when you believe in those things, you have great power to do great change in the world. And the world is watching, so what will you show them? Thank you very much. Have a wonderful evening. Congratulations to the newest members of the National Honor Society. We are proud of you and you should be proud of yourselves. We know that you will continue to demonstrate strong leadership, scholarship, character, and service because that is what being an NHS member entails. Thank you, friends and family and educators for joining us, administrators and teachers.
Please join us after for refreshments in the front of the auditorium following the NHS members leaving the auditorium. Thank you for attending.